Hello, hello, my darling and treasured, most beloved YouTube friends, and good evening, or whatever time it is when you may see this video. I have the most incredible, wonderful, soul enriching and lifting experience to share with you this evening. It is uh, June 22nd, 2024, and Mojo came here last night to visit me in spirit, and I'm going to tell you all about it now right now because it was honestly and truly perhaps pretty sure it was actually the most remarkable incredible experience of my life on this earth as I am so far and I I, I, I have so much to tell you I'm going to bring you closer but before I do how do you like tonight's on the I have a business meeting this week and I'm going to wear this for it this is a shirt from Carl in England hi Carl same one they gave me, the ankle bracelet and several other lovely treasures that I, I will always treasure. To me, they are treasures. Thank you, Carl. And uh, so tonight's ensemble in this lovely shirt that he sent fits me perfectly. Thank you so much again. I thought it looked lovely and very elegant and professional. What do you think? I'm going to bring you now closer. Boy, do I have a lot to share with you. So, so much. Yeah. Here we go. Well, darling friends, I'm going to have a cigarette because I, I want to relax. I'm in my home, and uh, three days ago, I believe, I think it was the 19th, it's time, time, either way, it was extremely recent, much too recent, I thought, to do a video, but I'm about to share with you why I am. So after Mojo left for his journey, I, uh, I felt very sorry for myself, and I cried, and I, I threw away his ramp and his dog stairs, and oh goodness, I miss him so. But then, his ashes were delivered last night. I have a paw print imprint that they gave me, but right before he left us, they did a paw print. And I held my hand to it, and all of a sudden, my friends, I felt his spirit. Felt it. He was here. And we talked. We didn't talk like I'm talking with you. We talked spiritually. It appears, it turns out, that Mojo was, uh, you know what, I'm going to take my chain out. What do you think? I take my chain out. I think it'll look lovely. Circle of life. How, how coincidental with tonight's discussion. I think that looks lovely. All right, so um, he was just as homesick for me as I missed him, and he was actually afraid. This is what his spirit channeled to me last night. He was afraid to move on. He stayed with me until I fell asleep. It was the most incredible, joyous, wondrous, warm feeling that in so many ways. Now, when my dad passed away, left the earth as he was, whatever you say. Uh, I felt his presence as well, and my dog at that time, Georgie, Georgie also did, and he went woof! I think I've told you that story before, a couple days after Daddy passed away. And then when Karma, Georgie's sister, uh, when she left the earth as she was, Georgie and I were sitting there, we both felt him also. And Georgie went woof! And then laid back down. So I know that they come to visit us. But because I'm so in tune, and now I have a new phrase for it, in tune, I was able to know he was here and talk with him and tell him things that I forgot to say because I didn't cry while he was in my arms. If you look at my community page, I, I held him, you know, till the very end of his time here as he was. And uh, I felt the spirit leave him. It was incredible in itself. But last night, I opened my, I've been open to it for so long, and it just set me free, and it set him free, and I told him, Mojo, this is proof that the invisible stream exists, and that we'll never be apart, really. I'm with you always, and you can always come home, but I encouraged him to go forward on this journey. But it made me feel good, and he felt the same way I did. Now, it goes further than that. What people call dreams, I call reality in alternate dimensions. And they are eternal, perpetual, and infinite. It's more than you could ever count. 
I went to, I was taken to an alternate reality that people call dreams. Right after I fell asleep with him with me, I was so happy. He laid in, I felt such a joy. And something had a little tiny like porcelain hand was stuck here, sort of like this, on this hand. I really didn't pay it much mind because it guided me into the living room in another dimension. It looked like this living room, but a few subtle changes. And it took me to the other side of the couch. I don't think it was this couch. It might have been right. And there was baby Mojo, as he was the day he rescued me, 12 years ago, in a dog bed. And I cuddled him, and I kissed him, and I loved him, and it was so beautiful. And then I noticed the hand, which I could feel Mojo through, by the way. And I tried to pull it off, and I couldn't. And I tried to turn to see whose hand is this, but I wasn't supposed to see. Before I knew it, it was lifting me through the ceiling and into the heavens, as it were heavens, whatever you want to call it. And I had the most incredible flight among the universes, among several universes. As I said, they're, they're infinite. <laughs> uh, there are so many. But um, that, that was the closure, because I'm open to it. And I really truly believe that. And I told this to several people, and I got, I got some pretty good re reactions. Nobody laughed at me, at least in my face. One of my very best friends said, Heidi, that's a childlike. Again, I go to the childlike in me. And that stems from a very traumatic experience I had at three years old. And I became emotionally stunted by that. I cried until I was in my late 20s, from three. But it turned out now I realized to be the greatest blessing that ever happened to me because it's kept me in touch with these feelings, thoughts, beliefs, and realities. And I mean that, my friends. I woke up today free, happy, whole. I just, I, I can believe it. I just, I feel so blessed. A part of me wishes that I was in tune as I am now when my father and when Georgie and when Karma came to visit. Uh, when they, after they left the earth as they were, because I would have loved to have that same discussion with them, but I wasn't meant to at that time. So, there's an author I heard, a science fiction author, called Kurt, Von, Kurt Vonnegut. Apparently, he wrote books very much like the things I experienced, and have been for about 15 to 20 years now. I always believed, I always had it in me, obviously, but as I became more in tune and more accepting of it, and again now, I'm so glad I was never formally educated. I really believe that uh, people are programmed to turn these, these realities off. I do. Uh, grown up. Be grown up. Act grown up. What, what is that? A hundred year old person is only a ten year old ten times. When do we ever grow up? Do we? I don't think so. And then my mother said something to me this evening that sort of put pieces of the puzzle together because I believe that there's a piece of us in all of the dimensions. A piece of us that we focus on and, and, and that's where we are right now. But we're really there too. And that's where we go at night, what they call dreams in our sleep. But we're really awakening in many ways. I believe this in my core. I'm sharing it with you because it was so incredible. And today I got up and I, I went to my best friend's house and I thought, I'm allowed to be free, just like Mojo. I told him to come back any time, but I, I want him to be brave. And it, it felt so good to know that he missed me like I missed him. And I, I went to my friends today and I didn't worry about coming home. I didn't worry about walking Mojo. I don't have to anymore, uh, the way I did. I, I can go on a trip now if I can ever put the money aside. I'm free now. And between Karma, Georgie, and Mojo, and my daddy when I took care of him, I haven't been free in 24 years. Not really. It's, it's nice. And now I feel if I ever get another fur baby, I'll be much better equipped to deal with saying, see you later. Because that is what it is. It's see you later. My friends, It's so beautiful, and it was so enlightening, enriching. It was just 
the most compelling, remarkable, amazing, fantastic, profound moment of my life on this earth as I am right now, so far. I think I'll have more now. In fact, I know I will. And again, it's because I'm open to it. I believe in it. And I do. I believe. And I believe that when we believe, we're in tune. And that's my new term for it. In tune. And I thank God and the angels. By the way, I think that's what that hand was. It was an angel. Pardon me. No one's perfect in any dimension. I could carry on for a long time about this subject, but I won't. I hope you're happy for me. I hope you're happy for Little Joe. Um, all of you, Oliver Davis, Todd Pollins, uh, Lance, Super Duper, um, so many of you. I, I can't recall all your names off the top of my head right now. Please forgive me. So many, all of you who, who left the, the most loving, beautiful messages about Little Joe. Um, thank you. And uh, I wish and pray that you will have an experience and open your hearts and minds to the reality of what I'm saying. There is no death. Energy never dies. Mojo was here last night in spirit. And I'm so glad. So glad. So, only fans and Patreon friends guess what? You're coming on a journey with me tomorrow. Yes, you are. A journey of grooming. Yeah. No, I'm not shaving there. No, I wouldn't do that. It's quite the opposite, actually. And I'll talk with you about that tomorrow. We're going to go on that journey together and uh, see how it goes. That's right. I'm back and I'm happy and happy and happy and whole and very grateful. So grateful. Perhaps I should say, among the things I'm grateful for are you. But you're not things. You're my friends, my online friends. And even if you're not, even if you're just a lurker or whatever, and you're watching my videos, I appreciate it immensely. Thank you. There won't be a part two of this on Rumble, not tonight. I think I'm going to watch a couple of Lifetime movies. I'm going to hang this back up because I have a business meeting this week, and I'm wearing this. I, I would love your input regarding the outfit. But more importantly, I do hope that you listened to my message tonight. And on that note, I shall say, what is up? I'm going to resume my Italian lessons now. By the way, one more thing very quickly. The first night after he left as he was, I was, I was thinking, look for the bright side as I always do. And I said, well, the sheets will always be clean now because he was shedding that yeast stuff for months. And the floors will always be clean now, no more peels. And I, I don't have all that fought some and jet some with the ramp and the steps and the yoga mat under the steps and my house is going to be immaculate now, which I again haven't had in 24 years because I had dogs and mojo, karma, and then I lived with my father and took care of him for over a year. I've been a bit, um, so I haven't been able to have a, a really clean home. But the night that Mojo left, I laid in my fresh, clean sheets because I had to get my mind off it. So as soon as he departed the earth as he was and the lady left with him in the rainbow blanket and all that, I poured myself into cleaning this house. And uh, I laid on the fresh sheets and the thrill was gone. All I wanted was dirty sheets and Mojo back. <laughs> Pedals to clean. I missed my baby. But now after last night... I know he's free and on his way to a, a wonderful life, lives, journey. And uh, I, or I should say a journey, I hope it's wonderful for him, but not everything is wonderful. So without pain, we can't enjoy it. You know what I mean. I'll go back to what I said. That childhood trauma at three years old that I cried about, really cried, until I was 27, turned out to be the greatest blessing that ever happened. Because of it, I've been emotionally stunted at the age of three. Emotionally. And I couldn't be more grateful for that. I just couldn't be. It allows me to be in tune with the alternate dimensions and the realities and the, all of the wonderful things. And Mojo's visit last night. Alright, I'm getting repetitive. I apologize. But now uh, the house is clean and I appreciate it now. And I appreciate being 
free. And I love you. That's all for now. Bye, my friend.